Welcome back to the Foreplay Channel. It's Bella. This is Jace. Before we get into today's video, make sure to leave this video a like. It helps us out a ton. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss whenever we post a new video. And if you have any questions, comments, or requests for videos in the future, make sure to leave those in a comment below. <laughs> Today's video is going to be all about temptation versus desire. I feel like we get this question all the time, which one is right for me? So in this specific video, we're gonna be talking about Temptation Resort in Cancun, Mexico versus Desire Riviera Maya in Cancun, Mexico. Desire Pearl is kind of very different than both of those and I feel like Temptation and Desire RM are the most relatable that people probably have the most questions about. So we talk about Desire in this, we're gonna be talking about Desire RM. So let's go ahead and jump to the video. We're gonna try to keep this video a little bit more brief and concise. We don't want it to be a 45 minute YouTube video, but if you want a very, very in detail, in-depth look at every single thing, make sure to go to our podcast, which I have a link right here, which is gonna have every single detail of these two compared to each other. If you guys are going to any of the resorts, if you book through our link, it doesn't cost you any extra. We actually have some little coupons and deals on there and it helps support the channel. It helps support us continuing to make content like this and help educate. So if you are going, even if we're not gonna be there, if you book through our link, it helps us out a ton. We really, really appreciate it. First, we're going to talk about demographics. So Temptation definitely is the one that skews a little bit younger. Desire I would say is more the typical like majority of people are in their 40s and 50s and at Temptation we did feel like we met more people kind of in their 30s maybe early 40s and that was the bulk of it uh, we did find quite a bit of people I feel like in their 20s at Temptation as well and at both of those places there were also people who were 50s and plus too the main difference here with the demographic is Temptation does allow singles both single males single females and Desire is couples only except in January January during International Swingers Month, they do allow couples to bring in one single female. Something else that is very, very important to note is the demographic of temptation is not necessarily lifestyle. It seems to be more adult spring break, some open-mindedness. Now, yes, if you're at Desire, you do not have to be lifestyle, but not everyone was, but most people that we met were lifestyle Desire. Temptation, we saw a lot of bachelorette parties, bachelor parties, a lot of single men, and it was just a very different, just a different feel. A lot of the people that we talked to found about this place because they looked up No Kid Resort. They found it on Expedia or Travelocity or a place like that. So to us, Temptation definitely didn't feel like a lifestyle resort. It felt like a open-minded place that there was some lifestyle people there. We don't feel like a majority of people were lifestyle. Also the people who were at Temptation, we ran into a lot of couples who didn't know what the lifestyle was. So we would ask, oh, hey, how long have you been in the lifestyle? They're like, oh, what's what's the lifestyle? And then also the single men specifically didn't have that, well, actually really almost everybody, everyone who like wasn't lifestyle didn't have that overall lifestyle etiquette that we feel like is kind of just unspoken with that like respect. Size wise, Temptation is definitely bigger. It's around 415-ish rooms where Desire is like 115 rooms. So it's definitely a large size difference, but I will say they're both on big properties, but because Desire RM is on a big property and less rooms, it definitely feels more spacious and open, whereas Temptation feels a little bit more crowded, not in a bad way, but just note because of the side of the properties and the amount of rooms, you're gonna have more spacious desire at RM and a little bit more crowded at Temptation. When it comes to the playrooms, a big difference because there are no playrooms at all at Temptation. So if you're wanting to have a playroom, gotta go back to your room or your friend's room for that. At Desire, there are playrooms there. At the hot tub area, which is at the very top level of one of the little buildings there, there are different cabanas. And so you'll typically always see people doing stuff there. Something's usually always happening in one of those cabanas and they had one other playroom that was in the disco or the club area and that was an indoor play area it wasn't very big it was just like a few kind of beds like put together we feel like maybe you could fit like 15 people in general like on the beds so that one wasn't very big a majority of the play we feel like happened up around the hot tub area temptation had an absolutely ginormous pool i mean the biggest pool i think i have ever seen desire had a pool that was a little bit smaller which we personally liked because it was smaller it kind of, it didn't force, but it made it much easier to mingle and talk to people where at Temptation, the pool was so big, people seemed to be a little bit more spread out. But one also cool thing about Temptation is they had their party pool, which is always playing music. It's loud, it's busy. But there's another pool that over there, 
there's really maybe like five to 10 people there at a time. It's very quiet, it's the relaxing pool. So it was nice to have that if you wanted to get away from the party and have a pool to still sit in, it was definitely an option there, which was really, really cool. There wasn't much of a hot tub scene at Temptation. Temptation did have a couple hot tubs. There were little whirlpools that were inside of the really big pool on the first floor, and then a hot tub that was really big on the second floor, and then at the very top of the tower. And so there are separate areas that you can get your room and one is called the tower they had a separate pool up there and a separate hot tub up there whenever we were there it was not busy at all that could be different depending on if it's on a weekend or if it's a takeover so we hear that if it's a takeover typically that gets busy up there and so the hot tubs though at desire was the one big hot tub that we were talking on that on that top floor that one got really busy after about four o'clock you even saw on the schedule it was like playtime at the jacuzzi and so desire had this cool kind of flow where it was like everybody's hanging out of the pool up until four and then everybody kind of trickles and goes up to the hot tub stay there until six or seven or something and then you go get dinner and then you go to the club or the party outside party and then from there go up to the club and it was like that every single day temptation you kind of just were partying at the pool and then at night you would find people at the night party. How the nighttime parties are organized is at Temptation on the second floor, so above where the pool is, they have like an open stage area and it's kind of a platform stage. So the parties were up on that stage and there were tables and chairs and sofas kind of surrounding it with a bar and then like food on the other side and so that was where the party was like kind of the lobby out towards the outside area and then at desire they had an outdoor area where the shows were and then you would migrate from there up into this separate club area. So they had like an indoor club and that's where the nighttime party went. Theme night wise, there really was no difference. They do have different themes. Every single theme just renews in January. So it's gonna change every single year, but pretty much the same kind of themes at both places. And we'd say about the same amount of people dress up. Nobody goes like super, super all out. We felt like at either one. If anything, desire maybe a little bit more people go all out, but not like, it's not extreme extravagant to where we've seen at other resorts and other events. Food wise is a huge differing factor. So Desire definitely had the better food. Temptations food was like kind of mediocre. And so they did both have a different restaurants. Uh, Temptation actually had like a cooler restaurant where you could watch a burlesque show. That one was called She. They didn't have that at Desire, but the food overall, like the quality and the taste was a lot better at Desire. So if that's important for you, make sure you're going to Desire. And they did have the typical buffets as well and the other little restaurants that surrounded it. Accommodations, they were both really nice. I didn't have complaints there. I think Desire was a little bit nicer. In our opinion, Desire is more or a, just a nice beachy lush type look where Temptation is kind of going for maybe party-ish feel. It's more like a modern, bright, vibrant look where it kind of feels more like a party and Desire feels more like relaxing. The staff at both was absolutely amazing. We're gonna talk about the wait staff first. Everyone was great at both. I do think the Desire wait staff made you feel a little bit more VIP. And maybe it's because it's less busy, I don't know, but I did like the staff a little bit more at Desire, but I'm saying everyone was great. But where the biggest difference comes in during staff wise is the playmakers. The playmakers at Desire were wonderful, but they seem to stick to themselves a little bit more. They're not quite as interactive with people as they are Temptation. At Temptation, in our opinion, the playmakers literally make the parties. And what the playmakers are, if you're not aware, it's these people that basically just get the party going. They get people talking, they play games, they do all sorts of stuff, but they're just so high energy and they literally, they make you want to party. They make you want to get involved. They make you want to have fun. They make you want to talk. They really made Temptation what it was, in our opinion. When it comes to how they kind of made everybody feel like welcome. There was at Temptation a day where the playmakers went and actually had lunch with the guests, mm -hmm. which we think is so cool. And we felt like a lot of the guests kind of created these like friendships with the playmakers. And so I thought that was really cool. And then especially whenever there was like the dancing time, we felt like so many more people were kind of up and ready to go dance because the playmakers were like, come on, let's go. That actually brings them perfectly to the activities. The playmakers at both did a lot of games. At Desire, they did more, you know, some volleyball, beach volleyball, beer pong. They had like a little aerobic type class that you did in the water. 
where at Temptation they did a lot more elaborate games and maybe some more games, I would say. They had a Mr. Temptation contest. They did a Sexiest Couple contest. They had some kind of sexier volleyball. They did a Make a Drink. They just did all these fun little games that got people really hyped up and really involved. So there was just more games and more activities going on at Temptation than Desire. At Desire, they did have in the very morning uh, that you can do like paddle boarding or like little sailing lessons. And so there were water activities that you could do there and like learn how to do them. And then later in the day, you could just like go get them. I don't think they had that at Temptation. It's not that we saw. The shows at both places were really, really great every show matched the theme that was going on for that night. We wouldn't say there was really much. I think it just depends on what you like. We personally like the shows at Temptation more and at Temptation, the playmakers were really involved in the shows as well. And yeah. they're so high energy and so pretty to look at. And like, we felt like that was really cool that they were part of it and kind of getting people like, you know, up and moving. And then at Desire, we know a lot of people that said they love the Desire shows a lot more. Desire, we feel like has a little bit more of like, um, acrobatics a bit more. They had different activities. And so Temptation is more like high energy dancing. And then Desire had a bit more variation. And then Desire also had live music. So some nights they would do a live band and live music first and then do the show or vice versa. And they didn't have any live music at Temptation at all. Music in general, both places were good, but I will say I think Temptation was our favorite place that we've ever had music. The DJ was absolutely incredible at Temptation. What I liked so much about it was it was just a big variety. They played pop and they played reggaeton, they played hip hop, they played like classic music or 80s music or 90s music. Like, it was just a great variety and the DJ did a great job literally mixing all of the things in and out and so it wasn't just one type of music over and over again. That was for the daytime parties and the nighttime parties. Desire had good music but it did seem to be like, oh, one night they play more this type of music or this, the next day they play this type of music or it's a lot of EDM. And I also feel like that DJ didn't read the crowd quite as well as the one it did at Temptation. And so the music wasn't bad, but one cool thing they did have was at Desire, at least one of the nights, they had almost a projector that kind of came down and it played the music videos while it played the songs. So that was kind of a fun little touch, but overall, I like the music better at Temptation. The miscellaneous things are all the things we didn't know where to put them, but we thought needed to go in somewhere. The biggest one of those is the clothing optional aspect. They're both clothing optional to an extent. Temptation is topless optional. If you want to be at the pool, you're, you know, able to be topless. At Desire, you are able to be topless or completely nude around the pool, up at the hot tubs. Um, you can't just walk around everywhere naked, but if you want that, that's kind of the biggest difference between Temptation and Desire. Play-wise, you will not see any play happen at Temptation because it's not a lifestyle resort. At Desire, though, you will see play happen at the hot tubs, sometimes at the pool you'll see, sometimes on the cabanas by the pool you'll see, of course in the playrooms you're going to see that, and so definitely keep that in mind. You No play is allowed other than the rooms at Temptation and Desire. If you're looking for that, that's where you want to As a general rule, it's going to be busier on the weekend at both these places. They're going to kind of mirror each other. Thursday through Sunday is going to be the busiest time where Monday through Wednesday is going to be a little bit slower and Fridays and Saturdays are going to be your biggest time. So if you are looking for party and the biggest amount of people, definitely Fridays and Saturdays and that weekend time is going to be your best bet. Price wise, as a general rule, Temptation is cheaper. Desire is a bit pricier. So conclusion, it is very difficult to say what is best. They are both offering their own thing and doing their own thing. So they're not really the most comparable. Mm -hmm. It's what you're looking for. So if you are looking for just a party, if you're looking for a younger crowd, if you're looking just for that energy and going, 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 Temptation is probably your best bet. But if you're looking more for that lifestyle aspect, more all encompassing lifestyle aspect, you want to be nude, you want to play more, on premise where you can, you know, have people watch or have people join easier, then Desire might be the best bet for you. But I think they all are just offering their own thing. We think that splitting and doing three days at one, three days at the other is probably the most fun, just because we met more people that we made better connections with at Desire, but we liked the party at Temptation. So it's just this thing of trying to find the perfect balance. That's why we're the biggest fan of the Temptation Cruise, because Temptation Cruise to us encompasses the party of temptation, but a lifestyle aspect of desire. So it's very difficult to say, but I think that they're both absolutely amazing. I think that you, if your lifestyle is worth going to both of them at some point, seeing which one is better for you. But personally, I don't know if I can choose. Yeah. 
that's why we're gonna do both we think that the best thing for us at least is go to temptation first for friday saturday sunday or thursday friday saturday and then take a break stay somewhere else in cancun and then go to desire thursday friday saturday or you know another three days that includes the weekend and we think that if there was a complete lifestyle takeover at temptation i think that actually would be our favorite for the vacation aspect and of course if you're wanting to go more for the accommodations and like the food that's probably not not going to be your choice you'll probably just want to do desire and especially if you want to relax and have that kind of vacation but yeah we can't we can't really choose so why choose when you can have both to definitely make sure to listen to our podcast if you want even more details we also have youtube videos of both of them individually podcast of both of them individually we'll have all of that linked down below but then that way you guys can hopefully get some sort of answer about what is best for you if you guys are planning a trip to any of the lifestyle resorts if you book through our links, it doesn't cost you any extra, but it really, really helps us. It helps support the show. It helps us being able to continue to make content like this, continue to educate. So make sure to go to our little link right down here. Book through us, even if we're not going, so it helps out a ton. But thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave this video a like, subscribe, and comment. If you guys have any questions about this or any other things you want to see from us in the future, so drop those in the comments below, and we will talk to you guys in the next one.